How's it going, all you guys and girls in the Illumination? Time to jump aboard the Loom Train. It's me, it's me, it's JJD, JJ Double J, the Illuminator here. Where's the beef? Also known by almost countless other aliases and nicknames. But we won't get into that right now. I remember way back around 1994, uh, I used to live within walking distance of a post office. Um, and I don't know if these are still around. I know the post offices that are near me now. I know that they are, um, they don't have these anymore. Um, but I can remember a stamp machine that was a lot like the uh, like soda machines, candy machines, snack machines, whatever you want to call them. Um, I can remember these machines being, uh, they had books of stamps back when you used to be able to lick stamps. Nowadays everything is the sticker style. But these machines, you would be able to put money in and get change out along with your stamps with books. We don't have them around. I don't know any of the, the post offices around me that have these anymore. But the thing about these machines is that they would give you the dollar change. Let's say you put a $20 bill in or a $10 bill, or whatever. If there were dollars to be given to you in change, it would give you those Susan B. Anthony dollar coins that were, I think, 1979 is when they first came out, and they really weren't very popular because a lot of people mistake them for quarters, for a 25 cent piece, because they were almost the size of a quarter, a little bit bigger. So older people, they couldn't see the difference, and they it was kind of like a failed experiment. But I can remember getting a lot of these. One time, all I had was a $20 bill. And I remember getting like 15 of these back as change, or 14, 15, 16 of these. And I still have them. I mean, when it comes to stuff like that, I'm, I'm not a coin collector, but I do have a lot of coins that you know I have collected just from life. You know, and, and from stuff like that. And people have sent me through YouTube. I've had people send me coins from around the world, which is really cool. I don't collect them, like, for money value. It's all sentimental and stuff like that. And I, I really enjoy it because it's it's a unique thing in my, you know, in my head anyway. It's very unique because, you know, coins have a certain uh, history. You know, the, how they're made, who they're uh, about, who's on them, all this. But these Susan B. Anthony dollars i probably have 30 or 40 of them in my possession from over the years but it's something i've never spent i don't think i've ever spent one but i think they're really really cool i understand it's a failed thing it was a failed project um and i'm surprised they really don't have uh, probably for money value you know it costs too much money to print up like a penny it costs like almost two cents to make one penny so you know it's they're losing money just by printing pennies up but these machines that would give them back these Susan B. Anthony dollar coins back as change. I mean, it, it seems almost like uh, like so far in yesteryear, but it really wasn't. You know, 1994, yeah, it is, but it isn't. You know what I mean? The, do you know of any machines that are still like this? Do you have stamp machines around your neck of the woods? Let me know in the comments below. I'm off to the races. I love you all. Take care. This is the Illuminator, and I'll be back. And before I get out of here, I just wanted to say a big thank you for coming over and watching. It really means a lot to me. If you liked the video you just saw, hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. And if you haven't done so already, please click that subscribe button. It's 100% free. It'll help keep you up to date on all my videos and vlogs. And don't forget to ring that bell. I remember this one time I had a bowl of porridge and it was good porridge and my next door neighbor was like, I'm going to get your porridge and I was like, no you're not, shooby doo, dooby doo, dooby doo.